So, Josh bought a Duramax. Mike bought a Ford. And I bought this. It's a W350. It's got a five speed. I don't know if you can see that, 4x4. Four four. Big stacks because redneck. I still don't know what to do about them because I'm not exactly the most redneck kind of person. But yeah. The tranny needs a rebuild in it. So, any tips would be greatly appreciated. Big dually. Kind of like these old dualies. It's got a bit of a lift, and all the tires are kind of bad right now. So, that's getting replaced. And yeah. Just that tranny kind of scares me right now because it's got many issues. Uh, second year, it pops out, and then when it does pop out, I'll go to put it back in and it'll kind of like, so I think a synchro is warm, uh, it, synchro is warm because it'll like kind of grind. So I have to wait for it to slow down and then I can throw it back in. And then fifth gear is pretty interesting too. It'll pop out of gear there too. And it moves around a lot in fifth gear. Like you can move the, the lever quite a bit around. And it like, you'll kind of hear it like grumbling at you when you do that. So, yeah, it's got carpet. Our other one didn't, which is kind of cool. Mm hmm. It's, uh, well, the drive shaft is pretty interesting if you want to say that. But I'll probably paint that black. But yeah, it's all nice and shiny under here. I think it's called Poor 15. Looks like that's what the guy bought it. Or I bought it from did to it. Very clean. Dana 80s in the back actually, not the Dana 70 I think they came with, and then of course Dana 60 in the front. Yep, it's got a Denny T fuel pin in it, so that's pretty cool. It smokes a bit. This one has quite a bit of go too. I found a bit more than our other black one, but yeah, this one I bought for myself. So it's not a split project, so you'll mainly see me maybe working on it with Josh and Mike every so often, but uh, perhaps more of it will be by myself, I still don't know. It's just going to be a bit of a project on the go, and we'll see when we get her done.